guys, it's gift guide time. I, I can't believe it. It really is crazy, but I had so much fun planning for this video and compiling what I think are really good gift ideas. I am doing yet another video in this series and it will be all Amazon specific. So that will be, I think the next video going up on my channel. I would love if you subscribe to my channel because that will be coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. I already have that one planned too and I'm really excited. Right now we're gonna share about so many things I've got in my mind that I really think people in your life will love. These are things I've received as gifts that I've given as gifts, some that I'm gonna be giving as gifts this year. Um, and or just otherwise things we own and try and love. So let's dive in. I hope you've got your coffee. Cheers. Okay, so first up, fragrance. That is a big, big ticket gift item. I feel like every year, this is the time of year that a lot of people give and get fragrances. And so where we typically buy ours is fragrance.net or fragrance.com. We love it because everything is cheaper on there and everything is 100% authentic, no weirdness there. The reason FragranceNet is able to do such deep discounts on fragrance is because they don't have any brick and mortar stores. So they don't have that overhead cost. So any savings they get, they're passing on to the consumer, you, me, Dupree. <laughs> so that I think is really cool. And so anytime I've ever done like price comparisons on certain fragrances, FragranceNet has always come out cheaper by typically by a lot. And they did give me a promo code for you guys to save an extra percentage off of your order. It is JBFNET. Use that code. I think you get 30% off your order. And again, that's on top of their discounts they already have. So definitely worth checking there if you are in the market to get someone something. They have a lot of different kinds of gift sets too. I know they have a lot of other items beyond fragrance as well. So it's definitely worth looking on there. I picked out some gift sets I wanna share that I think are really cool. The first one I snagged right away is the Ariana Grande Cloud set. This is one of my favorite perfumes. I'll put the notes on the screen because I'm terrible at describing fragrances, but this one I feel like is a very it's pleasing to a lot of people. Like, you know what I mean? If you were trying to guess on someone's perfume, I think generally most people would like this, uh, but it comes with a body souffle and a little shower gel there. It's a really big bottle of the perfume. And this is a hot ticket perfume right now. So again, if you were guessing, this would be a, a pretty good, a pretty good gift. Another thing, speaking of like guessing someone's scent, if you're not sure, but you you know they like fragrance or maybe they asked for it, they have a lot of cute little gift sets where they're separate little boxes. So this is the Lancome. Uh, best of their fragrances. One of my ultimate favorites is the La Vie Belle perfume. It's the one that when I wear it, I get a lot of questions what I'm wearing. So this would be a good set. And again, this kind of set, you can split up into multiple gifts or stockings if you wanted, or you could give the entire thing together. But I like that they're all separately in their own boxes. This same thing, but this is the Dolce & Gabbana collection. The Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, is one of my absolute favorites. I've been pretty much wearing that exclusively as we've turned into the colder weather. And again, they're all in separate boxes. How I just love that. So some for the men in your life. My favorite fragrance Tyler wears is the Dior Sauvage. So I got him another. This is actually like a little travel one, which is perfect since we travel all of the time. Mm. Like this is a foolproof, really good kind of manly scent. I love it. <laughs> uh, and then Mr. Burberry is another favorite. So this is a big daddy. It comes with the cologne and then also a deodorant stick. So it's a really good gift set. This, they're similar-ish scents, like very just like manly, but slightly sweet and just like a, a good smell. A good smell, guys. <laughs> anyway, so I love, I think this is a really awesome set. I know he's gonna love that. Thank you again to Fragrance Net for sponsoring this portion of the video. Again, if you wanna get a percentage off your order, you can use my code, which is JBFNET. I'll have the link and promo code right there at the top of the description box. So continuing on this kind of beauty train, if you will, one gift that I've given that I just think is an awesome one is getting a personalized like makeup bag or Dop kit. There are so many sites you can do this on. You could always do it on Etsy and stuff. I've used the site Mark and Graham and they're really, really well made. They're really nice. And I just think they're one of those gifts that shows that you spent a little bit more time because you had to order it, you know, with a little bit of time to spare for it to be personalized. And it's also just useful, right? It's something they can use, but that is, like I said, personal. So I like Mark and Graham. I would also recommend that, well, this just makes me think of it packing cubes. It might sound like a weird gift, but if you know someone that travels once or twice a year, maybe more, packing cubes are very useful. You can also get them personalized depending on where you're ordering them from, which could be cool to have like their monogram or, you know, something like that be a useful gift, but again, really cute and thoughtful too. I feel like Mark and Graham can be kind of expensive depending on what you're getting. Um, but I wanted to mention it because it was a site I'd never really heard of. And now that I have, I feel like I'm on there all the time, like clicking around and looking 
<laughs> like that stuff. If you've seen my, I have like a hanging, you know, travel organizer for my toiletries. That I got from Mark and Graham. They don't sell the exact one anymore, but, and I was able to get my initials on it and it's real small, but it's so cute. And like every time I travel, it just makes me happy that it's, it's mine. So my favorite slippers, I asked for a fresh pair every, maybe every other year. Um, are these UGG ones. They're expensive, but again, it's like a nice, nice gift. You don't have to go the UGG route. There are a million other brands. These are just the ones I love that I feel like last pretty well, and I wear them every single day. Like if I am on our hard floors downstairs, I'm wearing slippers. My feet cannot hang. Like I do, you know what I mean? Like I'll have, my heels will be sore if I'm just walking on the hard floor and doing dishes. If you know someone that is similar to me, they love slippers. These are really, really nice one. It would make a very nice gift. I'll link a dupe for them as well if you wanna save some money because I know that is pricey and depending on what your budget is and what you're planning on spending, I just love slippers, you guys. And getting nice slippers, I feel like, sometimes can sound like a cop-out gift, like, oh, okay, slippers, but depending on who you're getting them for, like, that's what I genuinely want. <laughs> that was on my list. I need a fresh pair and I was serious. Okay, so an ember mug. I know, I, I promise we're gonna get to some less expensive stuff, but this mug is a self-heating mug, if you will. It will keep your coffee or tea or whatever at the exact temperature you want, and I mean exact temperature. It hooks up to an app, it is amazing. I dragged my feet on it for a while, and I finally own one, and I love it. And I'm someone that I like my different coffee mugs and stuff, and I still use them, but like there are just those days where I'm like, okay, I'm tired of heating up my coffee for the fifth time, which I've been doing today, it's nice to have that option. They also sell travel mugs. So I got one of these for Tyler last year for Christmas, or maybe it was even for his birthday now that I'm thinking about it, but either way, they're very nice. So like literally you can be in your car and set the temperature that you want it to be and it, it will stay that temperature as long as you want it until the battery runs out. And usually the charger is just like a charging plate you stick it on. So it's worth the money. I have, however, seen some pretty highly reviewed dupes that are like around half the price if i'm remembering right on amazon so i can link that below as well might be worth looking into again depending on what your budget is i would be curious to maybe one day try one of those and kind of compare but as of right now i haven't tried one but speaking of travel mugs one of my favorites from this past year was from target it's kind of like this tortoise shell design and i don't know what it is i love that it was kind of like a medium size it was like smaller but it was a little bit bigger, but it wasn't like a normal travel mug size. It was really was medium. Uh, I just love it. And they had a couple different designs. They had like a black marble, a white marble, the tortoise shell. I don't think it's one that's gonna keep your coffee hot. Well, I know it's not one that's gonna keep your coffee hot for like seven hours, but if you're just like kind of drinking your coffee on the way to work and then you just leave it be, it's perfect. Cause it'll hold like that bigger cup of coffee and that's it. I love it. I think it's such a good size and I wish more travel mugs were this size and it's cute. So I feel like that's a really good gift. And I'm saying this, I'm really hoping Target still sells them. <laughs> so speaking of Target, this jacket, I'm not gonna mention many clothes cause it, clothing is such a personal thing. I think it is very treacherous to buy clothing for someone else unless they have been very specific. But this is worth mentioning because they have a lot of different colors you can kind of guess on the size and probably be right. And it's a really trendy, cute, comfy jacket. So they could wear it as like a legitimate jacket out and about, but they could also just wear it around the house. Like it's just one of those things and it's really cute. It's in style right now. I feel like it, most people would be comfortable in this kind of coat. So I wanted to mention it because I, I absolutely love mine. I just washed and dried mine and it washes and dries really well as though it's just a normal fleece, but it, it's a little thicker and has that more like legitimate jacket type feel so really cute i love it like i said multiple colors as well and i would say true to size so two different stamps i feel like i mention these every year but they are one of the greatest gifts um one of them is a library of stamp i got this for tyler and i think i've gotten one for my dad maybe my brother uh but basically you can get them a stamp that says the from the library of you know tyler braun or whoever it is and then they can stamp all of their books. So if you have someone in your life that loves books, collects books, it is such a thoughtful, again, useful, cool gift. Tyler loves stamping all of his books have the stamp. Those are his books. So I just, I always wanna mention it because especially for someone that's maybe a little harder to buy for, that's a pretty cool gift. The other kind of stamp I always mention every year is an address stamp. I finally got one for myself because I've been buying these stamps for everyone else in my life. <laughs> but I hadn't bought one for myself yet. So I finally bought one and I'm gonna be using them on my Christmas cards this year and I'm so excited. 
but again it's just cool especially if you know someone that just moved into a new house i feel like that's a really thoughtful housewarming gift christmas gift whatever that again they can use but it's also really thoughtful too so i've gotten mine both the library book stamps and the address stamps on etsy i'm sure you can get them elsewhere but i feel like etsy there's a lot on there and they ship pretty quick for something that's personalized even if you're ordering it closer to look at their shipping dates you might be surprised by how quickly they get them to you okay something i got tyler a plant grower for indoors so the brand i got him was aero garden there are a million versions of this i feel like this is that's one of the like name brands so if you were starting to search for it it's amazing you can buy these pods for whatever ones you would want to grow and I'm pretty sure it's hydroponics. I think it's water that helps it grow. You can grow it anywhere. You can put it down in your basement because it's got its own little light to help it grow. It doesn't need sunlight. So especially for things like herbs, I feel like that's something we always want to have some fresh herbs. We don't want to take care of it and worry about where it is in the house. We really don't have a lot of great spots for it to be in the house without it being obtrusive, you know what I mean? And so this has been perfect because we can put it literally anywhere we want but still have some fresh things growing. I mean, I'm talking about herbs, but they've got little plant pods for that for everything under the sun, tomatoes, uh, you know, lettuce, whatever you want. So really thoughtful gift for someone that you think might enjoy that. And again, super useful. So if you know someone that owns a KitchenAid mixer, you might consider getting them different attachments. They can get really pricey depending on what you're looking at, but that's kind of become a thing where we are slowly getting rid of rid of unitaskers in our kitchen and just getting, you know, KitchenAid pretty much makes an attachment for the mixer for everything. I mean, from flour sifting to pasta making uh, to meat grinding, they have an attachment for everything, but it is nice. So then we can just get a bin. This is, this is my future plans. I want to get a bin and have all of our KitchenAid attachments in the bin so we know like, okay, we need our meat grinder so we can just pull it out and get it and it's kind of compiled. But then all of our separate little gadgets, they have, oh, I need to add this to my list. Tyler was asking for a food processor attachment because we saw one at the store the other day and it works with the KitchenAid. And he was like, oh, because we have this big old honking food processor and it'd be really cool to just have one that attaches to the KitchenAid we already have. So wanted to mention that because like I said, if you know someone that has their KitchenAid mixer and they like to cook or bake or whatever, see what kind of attachments there are and see if any of them might be beneficial for that person because again super thoughtful super useful that's like the name of this the name of the game here but you know so i bought this year this really cute oil diffuser and i've gotten a weird amount of compliments on it from people that have seen it that have like come to our workspace so like tyler of course my husband for example was like that's a really cool one it's made of plastic but it looks like stone i got it from target i think it was like 20 bucks ish and it's just a cool looking oil diffuser. It's easy to clean. I'm not into like essential oils and all that. I just like scented oils, you know? I usually have Disney ones, which I'll talk about in a second. So I just like that I can make it smell like a Disney resort or whatever. But yeah, it's one that I almost didn't mention here, but I'm like, I feel like a lot of people use oil diffusers or might like one. And this one, since it does look so cool, I wanted to mention it because it's not very expensive and I, I absolutely love it. So games. We have made it a point to, and if you saw my last video where I was just chatting about everything that was on my mind that for the past month, if you saw that video, I was talking about um, games we've been playing with our extended family when we get together, and it has been so much fun. It's kind of like newer. We found a bunch. We learned a bunch of new ones, and so I will link my favorite ones below. There, are, I've got some of the names here. So my favorite is a game called Ransom Notes. And I'm gonna put the example here so you can read it. This is why I bought this game. That made me laugh so hard. I was like, we have to buy it. So I bought one for me, I bought one for my brother. <laughs> so that one has been fun, but for larger groups, we really liked the game, Do You Really Know Your Family? That was probably the hardest we've laughed. Um, that one was really fun and it's, again, there are no like super extensive rules. It's really easy to get a group together and just start playing it. Another one is called Beat That and it's a bunch of like challenges, kind of like minute to win it like, but a little bit different. Um, we love them. And then the blockbuster movie game we like with smaller groups and then Blank Slate was fun too. That was probably my least favorite of the new ones we tried. But I want to mention it because I know a lot of people like we've been trying to bring games with us to family gatherings and, you know, get that going because it's just so much more fun to spend time with your family in that way. And so if you're on the hunt for some fun games to play, whether it's a gift or not, I'll link them below. All of those are amazing. And if you have any recommendations, leave them below for us because that's something I'm willing to spend money on because it has been so much fun. Coffee pot. Now this is a kind of a niche gift in a way because you know, you either need a new coffee pot or you don't. And so if you're buying it for something, you know, 
But I want to, I'll link my favorite, the one we have. It's from Brayville, Breville. I never know how to say that. But it has a hopper at the top where you put your coffee beans in and they just stay there. And then anytime you're brewing a pot, it will grind the amount you need. It is amazing. We love it so much. We've gotten other people in our lives that have bought it on our recommendation. And it was like the biggest upgrade to our coffee game ever. <laughs> Really though, it is it is just incredible. The coffee it makes, we, a lot of times, we'll just make an extra pot to take with us in a thermos because we'll be like, well, we don't really, like we love Starbucks and other coffee, coffee places, but this coffee is our favorite. Like it is superior, it is so, so good. So if you, if there's a coffee lover in your life and you need a, they need a new coffee pot or you wanna ask for it for Christmas because it really is that good, I'm telling you, it's amazing. Okay, kind of a random one. These kitchen towels, it's from the, the company Geometry. I got a couple of Christmas ones. What in the world are these made of? I mean, I know I can like look up what they're made of. These are the most absorbent, lovely kitchen towels. I kind of bought them on a whim because I, I'm i sure my echo listened to me saying kitchen towels or we need new kitchen towels. And then suddenly I was fed all of these ads about kitchen towels literally within minutes. It's like freaky, but also kind of helpful. <laughs> my point is, these are amazing. I'm so glad I randomly saw this Instagram ad and bought them because A, they have so many designs. So now I'm like, I own two different like Christmassy ones, but now I'm like, maybe I buy like wintry ones and then like, do they sell Valentine's ones? I don't know. But they are so absorbent. They washed and dried really well in the washer and dryer. No weirdness there. They're just good. <laughs> I feel like I go through kitchen towels like crazy and I try to use towels versus like paper towels. I mean, we still use paper towels, but you know, these are just incredible. So I wanted to mention them because I'd not really found any like this before and they are unique, but they're still really soft and like drying your hands on them still feels good, but then you can dry dishes with them. Like it kind of does it all really well. And I feel like in the realm of kitchen towels, either they're really cute and soft and fluffy, but they don't actually dry things or they dry things really well, but they're just kind of like ugly. These are both. Not ugly, and I mean like they're they're really well made and they're actually functional and really cute. A popcorn machine, one of those little ones. Now, I we try to not get too many unitasking things in the kitchen, I know a lot of us do, but a popcorn machine could be a cool gift for someone, especially if they have kids and they do like movie nights, because it's not humongous. Like you can find a place to store it and it's not going to be that, you know, big and honking. I keep saying honking and it is making me laugh. It's so fun. So like we've kind of made a tradition, like when we do movie nights, we'll make some hot cocoa. We'll get our little popcorn machine going and make popcorn. It's really easy. I thought it was way more complicated. It really isn't. Pour the kernels in, turn it on, put a bowl under it. That's pretty much it. Salt them, butter them if you want. <laughs> so easy, but I feel like that'd be a cute gift for someone that has kids or for your kids if you want. But I, we've just really enjoyed ours and it's kind of one of those things that I wasn't sure if we would and guess what? We do and we actually use it a lot. So the Zwilling brand, this was a gift Tyler got me last year. They make these vacuum sealed um, glass Tupperware containers, if you will, and it's pretty amazing. Again, these can be pricey, but if you know someone, like maybe it's your spouse or whatever, your sister, they use a lot of like containers like that. Like we cook a lot, so we end up having a lot of leftovers and I feel like We've definitely made the switch over to glass for a lot of them because they just last better, right? But these are amazing because they there's a little tool that you put on top and it sucks the air out of it and vacuum seals it. It is so cool. They also sell bags that go with it. I will say the bags are really nice. Like we'll have Parmesan, like a brick of Parmesan cheese and we'll only use some for a meal and we don't want it to go bad. So putting it in the vacuum seal bag and sucking the air out has made that last so much longer. But I will say, I do feel like the bags after like three or four uses just aren't quite the same. So it's kind of one of those things, if you're getting one or the other, definitely think the actual glass containers are nice. But just a very unique thing I didn't know existed that is really helpful. We use it all the time and it really is cool. So a couple of smaller kind of stocking stuffer ideas I have for you guys. Um, the, there's not very many, just a few. The Kitsch hair towel scrunchie. I was using it last night. I, I shower most of the time at night. It's like the only way I'm ever gonna get to shower, to be honest with kids. And anyway, so I, I showered last night. And so when I go to bed with wet hair, I love these little scrunchies because they're literally made of microfiber towel. So I'll put my hair in it. And by the time I wake up in the morning, my hair is mostly dry. It's amazing. You can machine wash and dry them. And I just, it's one of those like oft utilized things in my life that I feel like everyone should know about and everyone should own. So it'd be a really good stocking stuffer for someone that has longer hair. Another thing is the, this is a random lip balm I know, but it was, I was kind of looking through my target orders for inspiration. And I was like, this really is such a good 
lip balm slash gloss. Like it's one of those things I just keep in my purse. It's from the brand Naturium. It's their Fido Glow lip balm. They have clear, they have different colors. I just feel like it's a good, good product, but it's right around, I wanna say like 10 or $11. And yeah, I almost didn't mention it, but it, cause listen, once I start going down to the beauty rabbit hole, since I talk a lot about makeup here on this channel, I could really go down. So that's the only one I'm gonna mention, but it is really good. A can opener like grip. This is something you could totally throw in someone's stocking. If they, if you have someone in your life that's always like, will you open this can or this jar of pickles, whatever. I am constantly asking Tyler to open stuff for me. And so I now have this little grip and it helps. It helps so much. So I can really grip onto it. It's not expensive, but it's one of those gifts that will probably make them laugh, but then they'll actually use, which is amazing. You know, I wasn't gonna mention this, but thinking about like little photo mugs, they may seem cheesy, but there is something so wonderful about this. Like when we got our coffee mugs out and I saw this one, I was like, oh my gosh, like it just made me so happy. So that's something to consider for someone in your life. You know, everyone posts their photos online, so it'd be really easy to get someone's photos of their kids or like if they got nice photos taken and then send it off to one of the gajillion sites that will make these kinds of things. They're not very expensive, but they're really, really thoughtful. And um, it's funny, my dad was just telling me, I was showing him this and he was telling me that his mom, before she passed away, had gotten him a mug of him holding my oldest brother when he was a baby, something like that. And they'd had it for years. So I'm like, it really is one of those things that can be so thoughtful and just make you smile. I know you can get coffee mugs, you can get like water cups, like they sell, I mean, you know, we all know you can get anything personalized with a picture on it, anything you want. but. I do think coffee mugs are one of those things that like people use and it, especially if it's like a Christmassy one, they could just pull it out at the Christmas season and then they can use it and it will make them smile like this one did. Whoa, the lighting is, I don't know how it's looking on your end, but the sun keeps coming in and out and it is like drastic in here. All right, so let's talk about kids. And then at the very end, I forgot I had this category. I have a couple of gift ideas for someone that loves Disney. I know that may sound very niche if you've never watched my channel, but I'm a Disney lover, so it makes sense that I would, anyway, so I'll do that at the end. Okay, kids. I am gonna mention a couple of items that will be used for years by kids in your life, whether it's your own kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, friends, kids, whatever. Magnetiles, I talk about a weird amount, but it is the most utilized toy in this household. It's one that I enjoy playing with. <laughs> um, they're, they can be weirdly expensive depending on the brand you get. We have the brand Picasso Tiles. We've gotten them on Amazon, um, and I think she might be getting some more for Christmas this year from someone um, because they have different styles, like ones that have like windows, and we just kind of got like a basic set. They're amazing because, I mean, they can literally utilize, she'll play with figurines in them and build little houses. She, she'll do all kinds of stuff. The bad guy will come and knock the house down, or they'll get trapped in there, or it's a dungeon. It is so versatile, and I'm just realizing more and more as I, you know, deal with managing toys, is that those kinds of things are invaluable, and they are worth, if they are a higher price tag, they're worth it because they'll use them over the years, multiple ages can use them, versus kind of those one-off toys that might be played with for a few months, and not to say we're not gonna be getting her some of those, because we will, but you know what I'm saying. There are just those toys, those kinds of things, like magnetiles that are, just winners, you know what I mean? Just winners. So another thing, uh, I, I love the Love Every brand. I They do send me a lot of things like in, would you call it PR? I guess, it, yeah, it'd be in PR. Anyway, we love them though <laughs> so much. Like if, if they weren't sending them to me, I'd be buying them anyway. But they now, they can get really pricey, right? So they now have a line of Love Every products at Target. And they're a little bit more in that, I think slightly more affordable bracket. Um, this is one they actually just sent that I'm gonna give to Felicity for Christmas. I mean, she's eight months old. She will be able to, so I mean, it's not like she has any idea, but I'm like, oh, I'll save it and let her play with it on Christmas day. But uh, yeah, a lot of them are like made of wood. They're designed by experts that know what they're doing when it comes to different child's ages. So I'll link below, they have a lot that they offer and a lot of them are like recommended for certain ages. So it's kind of helpful in that way. So yeah, I just, I wanted to mention it because I do think it's cool that they now have some at Target because I know a lot of people have been wanting to try Love Every or to gift it to someone, but that price tag scares them off, which I mean, it is a higher price tag. So 
I think that's awesome. I wanted to let you guys know because that was news to me. I did not know that. This wooden block playset, this is one on Amazon. You could probably get these anywhere or at like a local toy store or whatever. There's this cute toy store near where we live, by the way, sidebar, that is so whimsical. And I wanna go there and get our last like few Christmas gifts for our kids there because I just feel like those kinds of stores make me so happy. But I always would be like, oh, well, I can get a couple dollars cheaper on Amazon. But I'm like, yeah, but I want those kinds of stores to stick around. You know what I mean? Like supporting. I love Amazon, obviously, but I also try to support small businesses when I can too. And anyway, I want to look at the store to see if they have, well, I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, to see if they have this kind of set before I buy it online. But a wooden block set. We went to our friend's house recently and they have two little girls and they had all these wooden blocks. And I was thinking, I'm like, that is so cool because again, it's kind of like Magnus House in that they can do so many things with it. You know, when they're really young, they could just stack it high and knock them down. But then when they get a little older, they can maybe build something more creative out of it. And, or if they're just like, you know, a seven month old, they can just nom on the wood for a little while. <laughs> get a nice splinter on their tongue. No. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? It's just so versatile and useful for many, many years. So that's something that is definitely on our shopping list this season. Okay, sensory Play-Doh kit. I bought this one on Etsy and it, I forgot I bought it and I haven't given it to Genevieve yet. So at this point I'm like, I bought that like a year ago. I'm saving it for Christmas because it's soon enough. But um, they have so many different kinds and they come with all these different things. You could like set up a little play set with like mermaids or princesses or dinosaurs or whatever. And they come with all these little things to do with the Play-Doh. And I just think that's such a smart, cool idea. And yeah, I wanted to mention it because it just makes me so happy. And if I had had something like this as a kid, I would have freaking loved it. So I'm very excited. I can't believe I forgot I ordered that a long time ago. Play pods. Now they have them for younger kids. So I have... I think all of them, I bought a bunch of them and then they started sending me a couple, which is amazing. So we do them with Genevieve all of the time. They're amazing for restaurants, doctor's offices, but we also just use them at home, but I don't let her have access to them. I'll put them in. We have this bin at the top of her closet that says like adult supervision, which is just funny. But uh, she'll say, I wanna play a grown up thing. And I've kind of told her like, those are things that you need to play with a grown up around you because they're either ones that I don't want her to lose all the pieces or they're maybe a little messier or they just need kind of adult guidance. So we have our play pods in there and she loves when we pull them down and play with some of them together. So now they have them for younger ages. Let me go grab them. Where did I put them? Be oh, I know where I put them. Again, these are gonna be like gifts for Felicity. So they all come in their own little individual pouch. And so again, if you wanna like throw it in your diaper bag for if you're going to a restaurant, but like this is these really simplified, I mean, it's obviously a little too old for Felicity right now, but like little recipes and then it comes with a little thing and the little, oh my gosh, I hadn't really looked at these, these are so cute little wooden pieces so you can make the recipe on the plate. I'll link below because it's an Etsy shop and I just think what they're doing is so genius and so high quality and cool. Yeah, so like this, you find the shape in here and you've got all of the little wooden shapes so they can match it. Obviously that's not the match, but you get the idea. So I love that they're starting to branch into slightly younger kids. Um, I think this would be an amazing gift and it's kind of a gift to parents too because it buys them a little bit of sanity. I was just watching, um, but first coffee's channel. I love her channel. If you don't watch her, um, I just love her. And she was saying that kind of thing. She was going through like a kid's gift guide. And she was talking about a lot of these things are like gifts for the parents too, because it buys them a little bit of time and a little bit of sanity. So same goes for that. So another thing is getting your kid or kids or someone's kids. Well, it'd probably be better anyway, a really nice tent. So again, I'm trying not to do too many Amazon things since I am doing that video, but I want to mention this here. We just recently got this really cute tent and we'll set it up for her. It comes with like little lights and she absolutely loves it. Loves it. She slept in it like for two weeks straight. She brought her blanket and pillow. I'm like, whatever. She was sleeping really well in it, so who cares? But um, it's just, it's so cute and whimsical. We used to have this pop-up one, which we love too. It was cheaper, um, but it just got torn up and you know, it really wasn't super great quality, but it was amazing for the times we used it. But this one is great. The setup's really easy. Like once you get it set up, you can just kind of fold it up, put it away for a few months. Like right now it's away and she's been asking about it. So we'll set it up, leave it up for a few weeks, then put it away. Um, it's just one of those gifts that's kind of whimsical, but they can do so much with it. And they just, there's something about tents and kids, you know? Like I remembered love, loving doing like forts and couch forts and stuff like that as a kid. And I feel like this is kind of that same idea, right? Where you're just got your little layer of, and you bring all your stuff in there and 
<laughs> anyway, I, I just love this one we got. It is such high quality and highly recommend if you have a kid in your life that might like a tent. And the lights that come with it are a nice touch. So now on to some of them might like Disney in your life. I recently got these Epcot coasters. I actually have them here. These are so cute. They look like Spaceship Earth. They're made of wood and they're kind of like etched, however they would do that. And it was a pack of four, like two, I think you can get it like all four white, all four black. Anyway, I just love this. And I feel like if you have a Disney love in your life, this is like subtle Disney. Like it's obviously Disney, but not super obvious. And they're also still really neutral. We like a lot of neutral colors. So I loved that they had this. So if you have someone that loves Disney, this would be an incredible gift. I think most people would like. Also, I got this for Tyler, uh, this cast members only sign. It looks just like a real cast members only sign. Um, and he has it like on his closet door at work. And I just, it's one of those things that they have the same thing, but in multiple like fonts or different different styles, I should say. So it looks like one of them looks like it's a cast members only sign from the Polynesian or, you know, different areas of the Disney parks or Disney resorts. And I think that's so smart and so cute. So if, if someone had like a favorite resort or whatever, that could be a really cute gift too. Disney scent oil. So um, I have ordered from multiple companies I'm trying to think of the one I have right now. I'll link it below, but I got like a multi-pack. It's got like 10 different Disney Resort scents that smell like, you know, like I said, maybe the Polynesian or maybe it smells like the Yacht Club or maybe it smells like Main Street Bakery, whatever. Pirate Water, that's a really popular one. So that kind of vibe, that's like a deep Disney love kind of thing if you're a deep Disney lover like me. But again, someone might really love that. They also have candles and stuff that might be an easier route if you're not sure if they have like oil diffusers and stuff. You could get them the oil diffuser I mentioned earlier. Uh, and another one, Joffrey's Coffee. That is the coffee brand that's sold in the parks and at the resorts that, that's like brewed and stuff. And they have so many different ones that are specific blends for, again, specific resorts and restaurants in the Disney parks. So, that's one of those things that could be a really cool gift. They also offer like a monthly subscription. We really like, we've tried most of the Joffrey's coffee kinds and we like them all. <laughs> anyway, I feel like generally of the ones we've tried, we've really, really liked them. They have whole bean, they have ground, they even have some K-cups, so it's really cool. So those are my Disney ideas. <laughs> I honestly could probably do an entire video on Disney gift ideas, maybe someday in the future. It ain't gonna be this month though. But yeah, those are all of my gift ideas. I hope this was helpful or fun. Like I said, I have a very big Amazon gift guide coming up next that has so much more, but these are things that for the most part you get on other sites like Etsy, some smaller businesses, some like on Target. It's not, not a small business at all, but uh, yeah, just a mishmash. So I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you'll subscribe. Stay tuned for more of my videos. Just generally, if you have not caught any of our Vlogmas videos, those have started over on my husband's channel, which is Tyler Travels TV. It is where I literally was just vlogging, sitting here on my phone. Um, we vlog every single day of December, you guys. It is so much fun. If you've never watched it, give it a try this year. I think you might be surprised. I think you might enjoy it. I hope you do. Um, let me know if you're joining us for the first time this year in a comment. I think that's so cool. I know a lot of you guys watch it every single year and you look forward to it. And that means so much to me. So thank you so much. And again, thank you to Fragrance Net for sponsoring a portion of this video. Again, if you want to get a percent off your order, you can use my code, which is JBFNet. I'll have that right at the top of the description box and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.